Hi, I'm Tom McCook. We're here at Center of Balance in Mountain View, California. And Evangeline's here to be my gracious model for this next podcast. We're going to use a strap under the lowest part of the rib cage as a tool for anchoring the rib cage to the floor as a feedback tool of where you want to keep the rib cage anchored when you're doing your abdominal exercises. And as a teacher, you have that as a feedback tool to pull on, and you can tell the client and yourself whether or not they're anchoring the key point. Now, the tendency when we do flexion to get the rib cage down is to tuck the pelvis. And we're going to practice doing it without tucking, but we're also going to start with just a test. And this test will give you feedback if one side of the body is harder to anchor, which is useful information about the hip flexors in the lower back that you would take and do some release exercises if that was necessary. So the first thing that we're going to do is a test. She's going to bring up her right leg and her left arm behind her head. Now I'm just going to put my hand right below the knee and on the upper arm. And on the exhale, she's going to curl up with her upper body with the goal of imprinting the strap, leaving the pelvis in neutral. Exhale up. Now she's going to hold. And I'm just going to test if the strap is down. And it's down. She's anchored. So she's doing a great job on this side. Then lengthen back down. Now I would do both sides as a test. That's just to give you some information that you can give that as a tool. Now we're going to take that into an exercise where we do abdominal curls. She's going to bring her hands behind her head. And I'm just going to hold the strap. The pelvis will stay in neutral. And as she exhales, she's going to curl up with the upper body, maintaining the neutral pelvis. Now right now she's doing a good job. Now as she lengthens down, it's the place where people tend to lose it. Now lengthen down and notice, see, and that's the feedback you're not looking for. <laughs> so on the exhale, she's going to curl up again. So this is a great tool to teach your clients how to keep control on the eccentric lengthening. On the inhale down, she's going to maintain the imprint of the strap and exhale to curl back up, maintaining neutral in the pelvis. Now obviously, it's a lot easier to do with the feet down. So this would be the starting place. We're going to take it from here. She's going to bring her legs up into a tabletop. Actually, not a tabletop, just one knee at a time, relaxing the lower legs. I recommend you start with just the legs up, but the lower leg is relaxed. Then she'll bring up her second side. Now, if it's more challenging to keep the hips, the knees over the hip joint, she can have the knees over the belly button. So that would be a, a modification. Otherwise, they'd go lower. Now, in this position, she's going to do the same exercise. On the exhale, curl. Now maintain the contact on the way down. So it gives you feet, good feedback of anchoring the top of the lumbar. And then you can cue the shoulder girdle, the neck staying long. And we're going to add rotation. So on the exhale, she's going to curl and turn, turn towards me. Inhale back down. And again, whoa, there we go. That's the hard part. <laughs> and exhale to turn. Now, you could take this in, into more traditional exercises like um, crisscross. So as she turns towards me, she's going to reach through this leg. And how low she takes the leg is going to be determined by her ability to keep the strap down in the pelvis square and in neutral. So on the exhale, curl and turn. Inhale back to center. So it's just a great feedback tool for you and your client of what they want to keep anchored as they go through these exercises. And one more. Last one. It helps people to see that the range is less important than the control. They have to match to have harmony. And lengthen down. I'm going to complete it right there. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I recommend using these exercises. Use this as a tool with your clients and with yourself. And you'll get a lot of benefit from it. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.